Live, the search for an Austin fugitive on the U.S. Marshals' most wanted list is over thanks to a family dog. Investigators say people in Central Texas no longer need to worry about a dangerous fugitive from our area. U.S. Marshals confirm Kevin Patrick Stoser is dead. He was convicted of the sexual assault of a child, but he escaped from a halfway house more than a year ago, sparking a nationwide search. KXA and Sophia Beausoleil shows us where everything happened. While well, Shannon and Robert, local and federal law enforcement, spent months looking for Stoser. He escaped in October of 2013, and if you take a look at this map, it shows the area of southeast Austin. And you can take a look and see that he got away from the Austin Transitional Center, which is east of Austin Bergstrom Airport on Highway 71. Now, the shaded spots that you see of the map, those are the two large areas that land search crews combed through all over the summer. But the manhunt ended thanks to a discovery right here, not too far from where he he escaped. U.S. Marshals say a family dog ended up finding Stoser's skull less than a mile away from the halfway house. Carly is a 14-year-old Labrador retriever. She's friendly, a little on the shy side, but enjoys what all dogs love. She brings up balls uh, and stuff like that. Find some rings up to the house. In September, Carly got out of her owner's backyard and went to this field. What she brought back ended up solving a huge Central Texas case. When I put it in her backyard, I looked down and there they went. Officials say Carly Dr. retrieved Peter the Brown. skull of one of U.S. Marshals' and most wanted fugitives, Kevin Patrick Stoser, who had been missing for almost a year. Had we not been able to close this case or had the skull not been discovered by Carly, uh, we'd still be looking for him. Stoser was finishing out his term at the Austin Transitional Center when he walked away. Austin police and the medical examiner can't exactly say how he died, but believe last year's Halloween floods could have been a factor. We thank Carly. I'm glad Carly got out that particular night, uh, or we might still be working on this case. Man hours and money saved because of this curious dog, who isn't so curious about all the attention she's getting. Reporting from downtown Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. U.S. Marshals say they will give Carly some treats as a show of their appreciation. When asked if Carly's owners might be eligible for the $25,000 reward, the local Marshals office told us that decision will ultimately be made by the National Office in Arlington, Virginia. When it comes to the rest of Stoser's remains, Austin police say they are hopeful they will find them. Given the skull was found in September, we asked officials why it took more than two months to confirm it belonged to Stoser. They told us the medical examiner looked at Saucer's dental records from 1994, but they were outdated. That's when officials decided to send the skull to the University of North Texas in Denton. The Human Identification Lab at the university has a database of DNA samples dating back to 2003. Their findings were sent back to the Travis County Medical Examiner on November the 5th. Then the ME made the final conclusion, the skull was Saucer's.